And it came to pass, on the next day, that their rulers, elders and scribes, as well as Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and as many as were the family of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them Peter and John, in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he was has been made well, let it be known to you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God has raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 4 semicolon 5 12. Good day to you, our Father, our God and soon and coming King Jesus. Blessed be the names of our Lord God and your personages. I come this morning in, and because of you, Lord Jesus, who has made the way for me to come into the throne room of heaven and speak to the Father. Glory to you forever. I too am a child of the King. I want to see and to know this great faith and moving of your power by these men who walked with you Jesus. Please bless me with understanding today to hear these words to my heart. In your name Jesus, I too call and come, Amen. Lord, as I read this morning I heard them say, when the people were amazed at the healing of the crippled man, that it was not them who healed the man at all, do not marvel at them at all. It was the power of your name, mixed with their faith that healed a man born crippled. But it was you alone who had the power to heal any and all, even a man who had never walked, whose feet and ankles were twisted and malformed from birth. You did not even have to be there physically, just your name spoken by men who believed in you and a miraculous healing took place. This man never even asked for his healing, there was no faith on his part, they had to direct his focus on them. They gave this healing in loving compassion instead of money. They gave what all the money could not buy, and no physician could have healed. They gave a gift from God to an ordinary man. Lord, I see critical attitudes here even though what they did was good. Even the way they turned their questions to them was critical. By what means do you do this? What name? What power do you have, from where does it come, in other words? Even though it must have been well known and spoken of when Jesus was there, the many miracles he was doing all around. But now you, Lord, are gone yet here is an astonishing miracle. How did they do it? Here is an opportunity for these your disciples to share the truth of your message of not just healing of bodies, but healing of spirits and souls that men may know God, the Father again, and walk with Him once more. Lord, I know, that there is way more than healing when you are in anything. There is fullness and wholeness. Bodies can be made whole, but in this life without wholeness or fullness in you we are still empty vessels. No fullness no matter what, always empty, always searching for answers, for something to fill the void in us when we are not in you and you in us. We were created to be family, to be one in you, and when we are not one in you, we are lacking, we are missing something that can only be filled when we come to you and saving grace. I know this is true, Lord, from my own life and experiences. Here it relates to us that it was Peter and John who bravely shared the truth with all these who came to see this healed cripple and to see the men who apparently healed him. Lord, we are such a people who love to see the unusual, the amazing, the unexplainable. And we are sad creatures when we are depressed when we don't get what we expected to get. They were amazed at the miracle but I bet the answers they wanted to hear were not as they wanted. Peter boldly shares the one you rejected, the one who was killed did this. The one whom God raised from the dead, it is he who performed this miracle, his name alone can do this and did. It is his name, your name, Lord Jesus, that made that man whole again. 
you were still in the miracle business then and there. And you alone can save us from ourselves and from paying the penalty for our sins. There really is no name under heaven, on this earth by which anyone can be saved, just you Jesus, just you. I am so glad it is you. Lord, the other thing I see in this scripture today is don't expect to be loved or admired by this world for doing good. No instead expect rejection and criticism. But do good anyway. Don't be afraid either of what people will say or may ask, just trust in God. He is still in control. You are. Our lives and everything is and will be well, when we place all our hopes and trust in your very loving and more than capable hands. I am still your work in progress Lord, I know, but I also see your work in my life here and now. I am a new creation and not the one I was thanks to your spirit, and life in me now. Praise you alone for this. You are my Lord and Savior forever. Lord Jesus, I come today and also use your mighty name once more to offer up my prayer to heaven and praises. Thank you for loving me and being so patient and long-suffering with this woman. I am forever thankful. Please watch over my heart and mind today and protect me and mine I pray. I know our lives are all in your hands alone. To you be the glory for all the good you have done in my life and the lives of my family. Thank you Lord Jesus, thank you. Amen.